Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And today, well, not today, but coming up on Friday, on Saturday the 24th, is our one year anniversary. And we've done really, really well hitting the year. We are now at 3,311 subs and over 600,000 views, as well as nine memberships. So we're really, really proud of that, guys, and uh, may uh, continue. Today's episode, I'm back on doing some more cargo running. So I received a comment about maybe I've oversaturated doing the cargo running and uh, that, that sat with me for a bit. I do take people's com comments on board and listen to them and, and, and try and find work ways around things. But then I, I did a poll and one of the, the options were carry on cargo running with bigger shapes, doing salvaging or mining, uh, solo on mud crew, doing bounties or other stuff. And the carry on cargo running and salvaging was sort of neck and neck. So there is people that still do like it. So I am still gonna carry on doing some cargo running and then maybe trading my max at some point for a salvage ship, a solo salvage ship. Uh, we'll figure out that how that works because you can't, you can only buy the reclaimer in game and add, so I'd have to get it as a pledge for the for the solo one, the, the, the vulture. So, and plus, with um, new people seeing the content, they're not going to see the old uh, cargo runs, so maybe that's a, a good thing, like, to carry on doing some of these for those new people. Plus, I'm going to be using the Caterpillar today. So, we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to hit that punch and tickle the like button, and don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. Um, we're absolutely loving it, guys. Um, growing this channel, we're at 3,300 now. And we've just done the, uh, the regs to riches. So I have been diversifying some of the content uh, as I've been doing it. And I do take the comments on board. Um, also, check out the description for links to the Discord. We've got about 170 members on the Discord and they regularly jump on together and, and have a lot of fun together. And I'm absolutely loving that. I can't thank Jackie Boy enough for sorting that out, the whole Discord thing. Also, check out the description for the join membership button for YouTube. Uh, as the channel grows, it's becoming um, some work now to, to comment. I do love reading the comments and I do love replying to the comments, but sometimes I can be spending an hour, two hours to going through the comments. I've got to read the comment, formulate a reply, and then reply to the comment, and it is becoming um, uh, a bit of a job to do. And so if you want to have your comments prioritized as the channel grows, then uh, we've got the memberships uh, starting at 2 dollars and, and your comments will be prioritized from that. Uh, as much as I don't want to alienate the rest of the people, um, it's just becoming um, a, a, a almost <laughs> a good job now to, to go through the comments. So we hope you understand that, guys. I am going to carry on as best I can uh, replying to the comments, but like I said, as the channel grows, then um, obviously it's going to become a little bit harder. Uh, so we hope you understand that, guys. Also, the code dropping down. Sorry for the long spiel, guys. The code dropping down. If you use that code and you're new to Star Citizen, you'll get 5,000 credits and um, you'll push me up in the rankings. And the reason I'm mentioning that again today is Welcome I came to the hangar to the today and I was looking and I was like, I've got my Gladius, which is what I've got from referrals. I mean, I roll, which I've got because I had the, uh, the Max. I came with the Max and Pisces, which is a pledge. And, and then I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know where I got the Mustang Gamma from, a racing ship. The Caterpillars I bought in, in game. The Prowler is the um, sub ship, the subscription ship that we get each month. Uh, and then the Kruger is one that I've got uh, from referrals. And my Max is my main um, pledge. But then I had the Origin 30, uh, 350R and the Origin M50 Interceptor. And I didn't know where these came from. And it turns out basically I have it 25 referrals and basically those were the ships that came with it they did say that they the available in arena commander but it looks like they're also available in this as well and plus i've got fifteen thousand credits so yeah church, use that code guys and keep pushing that me up in them rankings so let's get into this so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to use a caterpillar and i'm going to go and get some med supplies um i've already forgotten what hangar i'm in where i'm doing the talking 14 we are 14. There we are. So I absolutely love the Caterpillar. It's nicknamed the tank, thanks to Tankus for supplying the extra funds I needed for this. 
So, while this comes down, I'll show you. I don't have a great deal of money. I've got half a million. But if you look at the journal, I'm looking here at the price commodities alert. So you can see the medical supplies, Hicks Research Outpost, 16 um, is an overstock. So I might get it cheaper than that, but there's an overstock, which means that I'm going to more than likely fill up the Caterpillar. So that's what I'm going to, that's why I'm, I'm going to do this run today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to Microtech because I'm going to get a better price over at Microtech than if I came back to Orison or anywhere like that. And then I'll pick up some stock over at, at Orison. I'm not too sure how fast the ship will be at doing the run. Uh, I haven't upgraded any of the components in it, but that is the plan that uh, once I've got enough to fill cargo and then I'll start saving them for money for doing the, the uh, components. So that's where we're at. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Power shields. Your systems are online. Power shields. Maximizing shields. Now, I know someone said to me a while back, to get the Caterpillar off, you've got to boost, but the way I use my pad, for me to boost, I have to, um, I have to use a different... Because uh, it basically ends up putting my cruise control on, the way I have to boost and lift up. It would end up putting my cruise control on, as you see there. So I've got to figure a way different than that from, from, from going up. So if I go up with space bar and then hit my boost. That's it, that's better. That's how I do it. So I had to use my space bar rather than my pad to do it. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Offline. So here we are. Deakins, where there's um, an overstock. Let's make sure I close this back up so someone doesn't steal my ship. Nice day, or nice night, should I say. So like I say, I'm not going to be able to buy everything here because I don't have the funds. But we'll buy what we can. So med supplies, 1,000 here. So we're going to take that once we select the Caterpillar. Well, not all of that, obviously, because we can only get 500 in full, but we're not even going to get that much. Med supplies here, and we're going to get it for 16, like it says. We're going to get 340 of them and pay 559.2 exactly what we've got. We're going to have nothing left. So, confirm that 559 for 340, and then we're going to head over to Microtech and sell it there because we'll get more for it over at Microtech. And then I'll pick some more stuff over at Microtech. Now, look at that, that's such a beautiful view. Now, there's something I wanted to address. So I recently watched a video by uh, another YouTuber. I won't say his name because, I mean, you've probably seen it. I, I love the guy to bits, love his videos, um, but I won't say his name just in case um, he gets him in trouble. But um, he showed a video about using an exploit to, to use a mule to get loads of vice or, or um, maze and earn some money. 
Now, I don't know how long it took him to do, but it did seem like a big um, task to do, having to put the get the, the one vice first, then put it in his mule, then re get the mule, get the by, by, um, the maze out, and then put that maze in. So he had two. Then redo the truck so he had two more, and then he could move them two. And um, and vice, and basically just bit doing that until he ended up with six. And I don't know how long it took him and how many times you would have to do it, but he made about 60,000, and I'd say it probably took him an hour to do. Now, as, as, as that being an exploit and that, I'm not really, I don't want to sort of do that stuff. I don't want to do exploits. I just try, I'm trying my best to stay away from exploits, anything like that. I want to just show normal gameplay as much as I can, even if it's stuff you've all seen before. Uh, that's what I want to try and do. Not dogging on the the other the other people doing that. They're, they're bringing it to light. But when you dig when you dig deep down into it, and you make sixty thousand on that, is it not just easier to? I know like not everybody has these ships and that, but is it not just easier to have something like this and just do a run like this instead? Because surely you'll make that money in just this, just the same. Like if you made, if you can make a million in an hour, surely that's, you know, that's going to be better. I know you've got the stock and stuff like that, but many people have said they can earn loads of money from salvage missions. Like you know, in an hour, they can earn, they can earn money from bunkers, big money from bunkers in an hour. So I don't think you need the exploits. Um, like I said, I'm not dogging on the person or anything like that. Um, love his videos, like, but for me, it's just not something I want to do. I hope you guys agree, like, with that. For me, like, I don't want to be showing the exploits. Quantum drive is now on. So let's get over to Microtech, guys, and um, sell this cargo. We should get. For 340, we should get, you know, around 100,000 for that. So, and then we'll just build until we can get enough. And then, and what I'm going to do is try and make the million. So I had 550,000, I think, or something like that to start with. So we need to get to 1.5 million. Let's see if we can do it. Quantum drive is now off. So here we are, guys. Microtech. Didn't take too long to get here, about five minutes, I think. About five minutes. So not too bad. Now I'm looking for the upside down house. Where are you, upside down house? There it is. So with med supplies, I can only sell med supplies at bases like planet side bases because everywhere else only sells only buys at 50 for 50 now. units and obviously having 500 amp or 300 what i've got it's going to take a bit of a time the good thing with new babbage is um we don't have to go to the space station over there we can land here just in front some part of the star lifter right there I'm going to try and land on even ground. There we are. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engines offline. Now there is the danger of being pad rammed or just rammed here. Um, so you've got to take that chance, it's up to you whether you want to take, go to the spaceport and um, land proper and put your ship away and all that stuff and then take the trains over. But obviously this way is just quicker, just more, you can take more of a risk. Might as well just come here and sell it on. Right, here we go. 
Dead Caterpillar, we got 340, and we're going to sell them for 500, no, it's only showing 278. So I'm going to back off a minute. Try again. So basically, what I've done is I've come round here, because I could only sell um, so much over at the other place, I can come here and sell some. So I can come over here and I can sell 10 over here. I don't think they are linked, as far as I'm aware. medical supplies so they're out of stock so we'll sell them 10 here because you can only sell so many here and now there's no demand here So let's have a look where we're at. So we've got 541 and I've still got 50 of these to sell. Now may I have a quick look at the refresh rate of this? Sorry if you can hear my cat running around. She's on a funny five minutes.
Okay, so this one does two a minute and you can sell 10. And the other place does 500 and you can sell and it refreshes at 14 a minute. Uh, but I think the tick refresh is about every five to 10 minutes or something like that. So I'm just gonna go and check this other one now and see if we can sell them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up some more cargo and basically go from there. We sell off 52 here, so the tick is ticked over, and we'll sell that for 97. There we are. So I think altogether we made about 80 grand there, something like that. We started off with, I think, 5.5, five, something like that, and we got 5.3, uh, 6.3, so yeah, about 80,000. So. What I could do is pick up scrap here and go and sell that somewhere else. 25 grand is 25 grand. Let's buy scrap. Scrap. This is going to cost us 77,000 for that. Cool. And let's go and sell that over at Devlin's. So I'll have a look at that in a minute, that price of commodity thing that just came up. Turn engines off. and sell this and then we'll head to the next place to pick up some different cargo somewhere else. Here we go, sell this. We bought it for 77. I'm gonna sell it for 106. So we made about 30k from it. Just shot 30k. So that's not too bad. So now we have 667. Right. So let's head back and let's pick up some other stuff from somewhere else. Now, I understand the title says, is how easy is it to make a million with a uh, large ship or something along them lines. And I do understand you need money to make money in this. Whereas like doing some other things like contracts and stuff, you don't need money to make money. But I do understand like with a big ship like this, you do actually need money but you don't actually need a massive amount. You can actually work with half a million, probably about 400,000. You could look at Acetine and make 100,000 per run with Acetine, uh, and it would cost you 400,000 per run. And obviously you need the ship as well, which was 4.6 million. I see a couple of ships around here. Maybe a word of those. Turn engines up. Powering down systems offline. So I'm gonna have a proper look here, see what's available, and then make a decision from that. Oh 
always loot the boxes. Find some good looting on. Okay, so they've got beryl, quartz, uh, agresium. So agresium's only got six. Agresium, so they've got six agresium. And they've got 45 beryl. They've got tungsten, which is out of stock. They've got corundum. So we'll make three grand profit from the agresium. So we're going to take 12 of Grecia. I'm going to take the barrel, 90 barrel. And I've got to go over to Rear Vianvec and go and get some med supplies, I think. Let's have a look at here. Med supplies, 241 here. Two hundred and forty one. We'll take the stims as well. Seventy nine stims. Right. Oh not full but out of money. Turn engines off. Powering down systems offline. So let's sell this, get a drink, and then discuss where we're at. Okay, we are at TDD Microtech, selling the last, uh, the next load. Let's do this. See what we got. So we'll sell the barrel here, two hundred twenty-nine thousand. Medical supplies will sell for 448,000. Agresia, I'm going to sell for 31,000. And the stems are going to sell for 30,000. Right, there we are. See what we got. So we're on 740,000. So since we started, we've made about 200,000. Now, let me talk about this a little bit. Ooh, look at all these helmets. 2 .7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, 2
so that I'm over at the Ar Arcorp area, basically. Jet Caterpillar, so they've got loads of barrel here as well, but can't afford. So if I was to get 325 barrel, let me do the maths here. So if I was to get 325 barrel, I would make profit of 195. But it would, yeah, so, 300, so 195 I could make if I took it from, um, where am I at? No barrel, I want barrel. Barrel. So if I took 300 and, uh, let me make sure I'm in the right place, SM10. And I'm going to go up to. I'm going to go up to. Lawville. I make 132 grand. But if I was to get. Instead. A full load of. Acetine. I would make. Show you that SM10. I'm going to Lawville. I would make sixty-eight thousand. So it's going to be a no-brainer to get the acetine uh, to get the barrel this time on this one because I'm going to make one hundred and thirty grand from that. Let's do it. Buy the acetine. I mean barrel, sorry, and then. Can I get any? I can get one acetine there. Okay. And I've got 600 left, basically. Can I get some hydrogen? Can I sell hydrogen over where I'm going? So I've got hydrogen. Yeah, I can sell hydrogen. So I'm going to pick up some hydrogen. I'll pick up the hydrogen as well, whatever I can pick up there. Seven of them. Done. So I literally got 61 left, and I'm going to head over to Lockville, Heston area. No stuff here. It's gone. Now, the risk with barrel is it's a lot of money. So I've, I've got 700,000 here, turn engines on. I've got 700,000 here, turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So I've got 700,000 worth of cargo which is not ideal it's all of my money I want this crusader that's where I want to go host them power thrusters maximizing engines And like now, I'm out of the armistice zone, I'm only 2,600 up, and I've got to get to 11,000 up. It's, you know, it's quite a dangerous, with 700,000 on cargo, I could get jacked at any time here. Good if you could land on these landing pads here to my right. I 
make life so much easier to get to the business district because this is the business district I'm passing over here. So it'd be so much better. Let me check. See, can I, can I actually land on them? So there we are. It's going to impound my vehicle. Actually. If it impounded my vehicle, it would put me... No! Impounded my vehicle. Well... You know what, guy? You know what, guys? That is a quick way. I'm not into exploit exploits. You know that. You know, Welcome guys. I'm not into exploits. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval that, system. But I've got a fine. Oh, I've got to wait 15 minutes. And the fine I'm is sorry. five thousand. So it's going to cost me five grand. I'm not into exploits. Um, <laughs> trespassing second degree. I'm, but the thing is, is can I actually sell from it? My crime stat rate increased as well. So I've got a crime stat. I've got a crime stat, so... I've got a crime stat of one which I'm going to have to pay off. I've got a fine uh, on my vehicle. Hopefully I can sell from it. I'm not too sure if I can. I'm not into exploits, but how much is that going to cost me? We'll find out. Let's have a look how much my fine is. Two thousand for my fine. So I can go to jail or wait till I've got the funds. So I've got to go to the business district, but it sell it depends in whether now I can actually sell my goods while it's fine while it's impounded. If I can sell the goods while it's impounded, I'm good. I can pay my fine. Which is two thousand, and I can pay the fine for getting if it's if i'm not back in 15 minutes the 5,000 fine for getting the the caterpillar out so all in all that were tested to see if i could land on them pads is going to cost me seven grand and like i said i'm not into exploits i am getting fined for it i didn't know it was going to happen but would you guys do it? Let me know in the, in the comments. Would you think that it's worth seven grand to not have to come in and land? Not have to come in and land. You get ex you get transported to the thing to the to the stray station. It's costing me money. I've got a crime start. It's going to escalate in six hours. Now the the telling sign is. Now See, there's the business district up there. Was I was trying to land Please up there. That's what I'm saying. It's so much better if we could land on them pads and just come and sell straight here and doing all this lot. Maybe that's what the plan is in the future. We'll find out. So, um, 19.1, they fixed the um, people standing on the chairs bug. And it's um, worked really well. And now they just con congregate. What we do is what's the word conjugate, conjugate around places. It, I think it's it'd probably just be better if they just had NPCs just in places, just stood still for the time being, like him, rather than them moving around. Right. So here's the test: Can we sell while it's impounded? If not, I've got to wait 15 minutes. So where are we? Is there a caterpillar? So, looks like I can sell from it. So the hydrogen I'm going to sell for 770. I don't even know what I bought it for. I can't remember. The barrel I'm going to sell for... I'm going to sell all of it for 894. Take a bit of time because it's an almost full load. And the acetone I'm going to sell for 900. Except. All right, so money wise, we have enough to pay a fine now. 
896,000. So we're only 700 away from the million. We've made about 300,000. Not yet. But I think I'm in an area now where I can make a little bit more if the stock is here. This left pair is fine here. Get this paid off. Let me know, guys, what would you have done? Would you do that? Get fined seven, uh, two thousand. Pay off fines. There we go. So my fine has been paid. I'm now a legal citizen again. And now I've got to go and pay my fine up here as well. For my ship, which is five grand. So all, so all in all, it cost me seven grand. For that I'm trying to land on that roof then. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So, pay fine. I've got six minutes left. That vehicle is currently impounded. Five thousand. Let's pay it. That vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Impounded. Go back. Jake Casper, let's get it down. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. So let's see what we can get here. I'm hoping to get a bit more stock here, maybe some Laranite. We'll see what's here. Not a good sign when there's a bottle on the floor. So 34 Laranite here. So we'll take that anyway. Just hang around. So we've got aluminium, titanium, tungsten. So we'd make about 50 off the tungsten. Eighty off the titanium, that's not a bad one. Let's look at the alum the alum aluminium. And the aluminium we would make around. Forty-five. So the best one is going to be the titanium, I think. And so I'm back over. And we're going to make about eighty grand. Just give it a couple of minutes. Wait for that tick. We'll get any stuff here. No. Start moving stuff around then. So we've got some stuff here if we ever need it. Right, come here. I'm going to start collecting this ratter door. See if I can get to a point where I've got enough to make us some money. Right, so I'm going to just loot a minute and then I'll come back in here after I've done that. So another thing that I do. But I put stuff in the local, like I've just, you just saw there. So earlier on, you might have seen all those helmets I had with 2,700 each. And what I do is, I tend to do this a lot, is I'll go looting in these areas, but I'll leave it, I won't put it on my ship. If I'm busy doing something, I won't put it on my ship, I'll leave it in the local. I'll just leave it here. And what tends to happen is, um, once there's um, a new update comes out, they... Um, move all your stuff to your home place. And that's why I've got all those helmets over at Magtech. And so basically it gives you, once they do that, it gives you all that, if they haven't wiped the inventory, it gives you all that equipment to sell later on. So, oh, we've got some here. Now and I, 103. Pick all of that up. Pick all of that up. So 
So obviously we like loads left. So let's take all the titanium. Let's go and sell all this. Great. Turn engines on. Powering down systems. So I'm, I was, I was close. so I'm not storing it because I know there's issues with storing it and, it and losing your cargo, so I'm not going to take that chance. Next stop, Central Station. So, where we at now? We're at the one million mark now. One million. So we've made five, we've made half a million up to yet. Ten engines off. Powering down systems. So let's see what we've got here. Let's see if we've got any lower night here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over towards um, Art Corp and see what we've got around that area. A lot on the floor, not a good sign. <laughs> All the Laranite's gone. Right, so someone's definitely doing Laranite around here. So the option is to take the Titanium again and um, go over to the other area. Let's do that. Okay, so let's get the titanium and make at least 80 grand going over to the art cop area over that way. So we're gonna buy it for 208, so we should sell it for around 288 when we sell it. Let's do it. Just show you guys, in case you ever wondered, what the cargo looks like. There you are, all in there. Loads of these going around. Just so you can see it, what it was like. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. CDD. <laughs> this is crazy. Disc bar. It's just silly. Man. Can't stand on chairs if you're over there, can you? CIG's answer. Now complain that they're standing on chairs. There's no. I mean, come on, why do we need all these terminals? There's not enough cargo to be everyone to be able to use them. Right, titanium, we're gonna sell for 289. So yeah, made, uh, we made 81,000 profit with that. Except. So the next task for me, I wanted to come over to this area is to try place that's got diamond and laranite together so if I can't get one maybe I can get the other so that's what I'm going to try now Pisces rescue here so we're looking at diamonds and laranite here see which one we can get So what we got, diamond 37, laminate 36, so not a lot. So jet caterpillar. So we'll take the 36 of that. So 
set. I'm gonna take 37 of the diamonds. And now. So we've got iodine, acetine. So the acetine could be the one that we take next. I think acetine is gonna be the one. 300 acetine rather than iodine. And then we've got aluminium, tungsten, and iodine. Let's have a look. You get battered. He will get battered if he tries. Okay, 166 lower now. 17 diamonds, so it could have filled up here with the other stuff. No, it's not good. It's like 300 at a time, we could have just got Lara Knight and stuff instead. 166. And diamond, 37 diamond. And that'll fill us up. So the acetine, if we didn't have all that acetine there, we could have, it's all good, we'll see what we've got. We've got selling it, but at least we know there's not a lot left here, there's about 100 left of diamond here. But let's see what we've got. I can't remember, oh. God's sake. Gotta be careful sometimes. Here we are guys, back at TDD. Coming up to the TDD in area 18. Let's see what we get for this. Sell that for 566. The diamond, we're going to sell that for 318. We've got acetine, we're going to sell for 270. And that's all of that. So we're at 1.24 million now. So we're about 250,000 away. We've made We've made um, 800,000 up here. What's that? Nice. So we've made about 800,000 up here. So we've got probably one or two more runs and we've hit the million. So let's head on to the next one. So 114 diamond, 242 barrel. So it's a decent hole we can get here. So let's go for the barrel. It costs us 600,000. Let's go for the diamond. 500,000. 131 of those. And we're left with 42 grand. Um, so what we would get with that. So we've got to go with the titanium. Or was it quartz? Ah, uh, yeah, it's only two grand either way, wasn't it? 144. 130. So we've got 144 quartz. Quartz. Buying it here. Selling it here. 16 grand profit. We'll go for the quartz. Confirm. Accept. 
Right. Pretty much done. Hundred and ninety nine here, UEC lead. Hello, and welcome to Riker Memorial Spaceport, servicing the Greater Area Eighteen Metropolitan Area. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Want your company to be in good company? Our Corp's unique vertically integrated corporate banks offer amenities such as resource sharing and logistical pairing for our rental partners. Inquire today to learn how you can invest Welcome in making our to the ASOP Vehicle new Retrieval System. Tram now leaving the station. Stand clear of the doors. Now arriving. Here we are guys, see if we can sell this stuff. I don't know if you saw, but it seemed to have, when I tried to put the ship away, it seemed to have an issue. And then when I tried looking at the ship in my molar glass, it's just not showing it. So we may have a problem here. We'll find out. So he's still there. Good. But there's no cargo. No cargo.
So, guys, as you saw what I did there. So what happened was I put my ship away and it said it was storing it and then it didn't show it. I came to the console and it showed the ship, but nothing on the ship. So what I did is I just unplugged my internet from the back of my computer and in the end just 30 k would myself so that the ship ended up storing itself and came back on and to a different server and this is where I'm at basically. So yeah, let's see what we got. So I'm going to sell the quartz here for 59,000. Set that. Then I'm going to sell the diamonds for 563,000. Set that. And then I'm going to sell the barrel for 795,000. I accept that. Cool. So let's have a look where we're at. We have a 1.4 one so i'd probably need to do one more run to make the million but with what i just happened there i'm not really going to chance that and do it and um, i'm going to call it here so basically um i didn't really have the money at the start i had five hundred thousand, half a million so i had to choose what stock i was what, what stock i was um transporting and in the end everyone's had enough everyone's had enough for cig and in the end, um, got to work my way up so that I could actually get full loads of, or almost full loads of beryl and diamond and larinai. And that then uh, accelerated how much I was uh, how much I was earning. So we, we came close to the million, I think 900,000-ish, something like that we made. And it was about four hours play, so not too bad. And yeah, uh, so what do you guys think? Would you, would you do that? How are you making your money? Um, how are you making your, so, you know, what's your making a million go-to plan? Um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Um, as I said as well, also, it's our um, one-year anniversary coming up for the channel. We started the channel on the 24th of uh, June last year. And so we're coming up to one year on, on Saturday. I'm, I'm currently recording this on uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday. And on Saturday, it's our one year anniversary. Um, really, really happy with the stats after a year, guys. We're, we're at um, 3,311 uh, 3, subs. We've got nine memberships. Absolutely love those guys. Nine memberships, absolutely amazing. Thank you for the support, you guys. And uh, we've got over 600,000 uh, views. That is amazing, over 600,000 views. So we're on the road to 5,000 uh, followers and uh, a million views, guys. So yeah, if you haven't subbed yet, uh, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. And um, yeah, and hopefully we can bring you more stuff. Let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Take care. See you at the verse, guys.